Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be talking about Maybelline's The Nudes eyeshadow palette in just a moment, so stick around. Um, I got this eyeshadow palette on my local Ulta Beauty store for $9.99 and it doesn't have to be at your local Ulta Beauty store. It could be at your local CVS or your local Walgreens, your local Rite Aid, your local Target. And I'm pretty sure you're going to see this. From all the stores that I just mentioned. <laughs> and um, packaging wise, I really like the packaging. It looks so sleek. It looks professional for a drugstore palette. Like, seriously. For a drugstore palette since, since when? <laughs> right? So, sweet. So there's that. Um, it does come in with a Dua Sponge Tip applicator. But I decided to go throw it away because I see no use for it. It's just my personal preference to use my makeup brushes to get the pad up. To get the product sorry about that and just apply it anywhere on my eye just like that and I like the clear plastic view so you could see the eyeshadow shades before you're able to buy it so you're, it makes you wonder like should I get the palette or not should I get it or not is it worth my money I mean for, for ten dollars hello this is kind of worth your money <laughs> and this is kind of worth your money if you want to um start doing makeup for the first time it does come in with a diagram that shows you how to divide the palette like your quads trios and duos just like that and let me show you so here are your quads like your three quads like that or your four trios like that or two of twelve duos going down or go across. And what I like using about the duo perspective, I like, it's just seriously like, what kind of blows my mind? So like, let's just say you want to use these two shades. Why not add these two shades? Or why not add these two shades or that two or that two or that two? Or what if you like using the trios? You could add one more shade or add this one or add this one or use your quads. And if you need more color, use like any part of the palette, which is really nice and helpful to like look back at the um, diagram and it gives you a sense of direction and it lets you be more creative than, you know, than you already like, what? I never knew I had this creativity in me like that, like that type of feeling, like <gasps> potential. <laughs> so yeah, um, pigmentation wise, it's okay. There are some shades that are hit and miss, like... I like the center part of the palette, but the matte bony shade is like non-existent. You can't even see it. The the I like the chocolatey brown. It shows well on my skin. The one right here shows well on my skin. This one center part. These two show well. And I'll use this one more. I I think I have slash haven't used it, but oh well. But this one was kind of a miss for me. I was expecting this matte black to be like matte black, pitch black, dark black. But it's not dark black. It's like more of a charcoal black. So I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. Because I love using matte black shadows to like, you know, for my outer corner to make it give it a little more depth and a little more smoky. Just, just didn't even do it. But... This one's pretty okay. It's not more of like, I like this one, I like that one. No, it's, it's okay. It's getting there. Um, I do, bundable wise, where the eyeshadows bundable, um, the eyeshadows were really super bundable. And I like using my crease brush, my own crease brush, my own smudger brush, and just use like any of the um, matte taupey um, brown shades for my crease area or maybe my outer corner to like soften up a look. Don't want to like go too dramatic on it. And overall, this is a really nice palette. This is a really nice starter palette. And that there are some things it could, I need work on. And I know that they're able to do that. And it's a really nice makeup starter palette. And... And I like the diagram. It looks really nice and it looks 
really helpful too and it is really helpful <laughs> so that just concludes my video or my review video for the day and if you like this video subscribe to my channel or give this video a thumbs up or do both however you want to do and if you have the palette let me know in the comment section below so we could have a little conversation about this palette too whether you're we have the same views or not. Who knows? So until then, I'll see you in my next video. And take care. Bye.